everybody! In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top five ways to eat well on a budget. So, healthy eating can be really expensive, is probably the number one complaint or concern that I hear from people. And yeah, it can be a little bit more expensive if you don't plan, shop, eat wisely. So today I'm going to share my top five tips for you. So, number one would be to stay away from the health food stores. Just stay away. Do not go into them. If you're just starting out eating healthy, or even if you've been eating healthy for a while and you're finding that you're spending a lot of money, stay away from those stores that sell, um, you know, kale chips and raw chocolate and dark chocolate covered goji berries and spirulina and maca and lakuma and kimchi and all these amazing things which are great and I'm, I'm not mocking them, they are fantastic and I do love them, but if you're trying to save money, they are not essential. If you're trying to eat healthily and you're trying to save money, you don't need to go and buy every single superfood that is written about um, in a health magazine to be healthy. You just need to stick to the basics. Fruit, vegetables, good quality meat, eggs, nuts, seeds, um, grains as well if you include them in your diet. Just, just real whole foods. That's all you need to do and you don't need to go to a health food store to get them. You know, sometimes you, you might need to go to one to get some, you know, fruit and veggies or um, the organic fresh produce section, but, you know, stay away from anything packaged or processed um, that, that isn't really essential to your eating because, you know, you go in, you come out with three things and it's like 60 bucks and you're like, whoa, um, that's way too expensive, especially if you live in a really expensive city, then no deal. So stay away from them. Number two would be cook in large quantities. So make a big veggie quiche, or make a big vegetable frittata, or a veggie bake, or make a massive big salad, or cook in bulk, make up meat patties, but make 12 meat patties, you know, grate carrots and zucchini and other vegetables into them, and just make a bigger quantities, and then what you're gonna do with them is you're gonna portion them out, and you're gonna freeze them, and when you do that, when you take into account the cost per portion, it actually ends up being quite cheap. So, you know, you're going to be getting, I guess, more bang for your buck, and you're going to be cooking less. Uh, it's just going to be easy and simpler. So definitely cook, cook in bigger portions. You will end up saving money in the long run. You know, if you buy all these ingredients and cook these little tiny portions, you're probably going to have to end up buying more, more in the long run and obviously that's going to be a bit um, hard on your wallet. Number three would be to choose your organics wisely. So I've done a video previously about how to save money when buying organic um, and you don't have to buy everything organic which is pretty much what I said. My rule for buying fruit and veggies is if you eat the skin, buy organic. So things like berries, apples and green leafy vegetables like spinach and kale I always buy organic and if you don't um, if you don't eat the skin of things like bananas or avocados um, oranges watermelon pumpkin you don't have to stress so much about it because you're peeling that away anyway and you know eating fruit and veg whether it's non-organic or organic it is better than just only eating organic anyway. So choose your organic wisely. You only need to buy a few things or the things that you eat the most of. You don't have to buy everything organic. Uh, but the number one thing that I do recommend always trying to buy organic or at least free range is meat. Um, so meat, meat and dairy really. Uh, so with meat, uh, which brings me to my fourth point, is use meat as a side dish. So what I do is instead of, you know, say I'm buying my meat for the week, instead of going down to the farmer's market and buying four fillets of salmon, I'll buy two fillets of salmon and I'll cook them and then I'll cut them in half and I'll just eat half portion every day. And so you're buying half the amount, so you're saving money. You're still getting, you know, your protein because I am um, a meat eater, so I still feel like I need that but you're not eating large quantities of meat and you're saving a lot of money in the process. So I fill up my plate with predominantly vegetables and then just have a little bit of meat on the side. It is a really good tip to make sure that you're not 
yeah, spending spending a lot of money on organic meat, which can be really expensive. So you can do the same with chicken breast. You can buy two and cut them in half. You can do the same with um, some grass-fed organic steaks as well. It's a very, very easy thing to do. And the last thing would be just to keep it simple. So you don't, again, have to worry about adding all these things into your meals to make them super nutritionally dense and you know really amazingly good for you. Just keep it simple. Um, you know, it surprises people when I say if I'm not taking a photo or testing a recipe um, or, you know, doing something for Instagram, for example, I'm a really boring eater. Like, I can eat the same thing for dinner every single night. My usual go-to dinner is uh, one sweet potato, which I chop up, roast in some coconut oil or olive oil with some sea salt and some pepper, a tin of sardines, and a drizzle of tahini, and that's usually what I eat um, for dinner if I can't bother really cooking anything else. So, you know, sweet potatoes, a dollar, tin of tin of sardines is two bucks, and, um, you know, a tablespoon of tahini probably works out to be about 30 or 40 cents. So there you go, you've got dinner for under four bucks. Um, even breakfast, eating things like oats are really cheap, or I make a big batch of uh, granola, and I usually eat that with, some yogurt and some banana, or I'll make a green smoothie with just water. So just water, spinach, banana, maybe a scoop of protein powder in there as well. Just really simple, really easy, nothing fancy. I'm really lazy, so, you know, if I'm not cooking for any occasion, I, I just tend to keep it simple. And, and that helps to keep your costs down. You know, fruit and veggies, eggs, nuts, seeds, they're not expensive. It's all these other things that can, that can um, you know, make your shopping bill add up to be quite a considerable amount. So there you go, they're my top five tips for eating well on a budget. If you take them and employ them, you will save money and you'll have more money for other things. Um, so yeah, there you go.